Hello, I am Dr. Norman M. Rich, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about the history of vascular surgery and the emergence of vascular surgery. Similar to the advances of many aspects of surgery, management of combat casualties in the 20th century contributed to the development of open vascular surgery. Control of bleeding on the battlefield was managed for more than 2,000 years by compressive bandages. The use of tourniquets employed in the past 200 years and amputation, life over limb, was utilized prior to the development of vascular surgery. Vesalius taught us anatomy in the 16th century. We learned about circulation in the 17th century from William Harvey. William Hunter defined the pathophysiology of arteriovenous fistulas in the 18th century. There was limited experience in the 19th century with operations on the vascular system. Alexis Carell won the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1912 in part for his pioneering work on the vascular system. A Band of Brothers, published in 1996, identifies pioneers of the 20th century who contributed to the development of the relatively new specialty of vascular surgery. Dr. Michael E. DeBakey of Houston, Texas, who celebrated his centennial year in 2008, was among those who transferred experiences from the battlefield to the civilian expansion of vascular surgery as a specialty. Before the broad acceptance by patients of less invasive endovascular procedures over the past 10 years, there was a period of 50 years in the latter half of the 20th century when thousands of patients with vascular disease and injury benefited from open vascular procedures. One of these procedures was the removal of an abdominal aortic aneurysm with a replacement with a graft demonstrated to be safe and acceptable in the early 1950s with good long-term results. Among many other open vascular operations was the highly successful and widely accepted carotid endarterectomy. These and other open vascular operations are still part of the wide range of options that can be offered to patients by vascular surgeons. To learn more about vascular health careers, visit vascularweb.org.